Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To start with the greatest name of Almighty Allah, most gracious and beneficent, whose bounty is unbounded, whose benevolence is everlasting, whose blessings are uncountable, whose being is eternal, whose mercy is unlimited, whose provisions are unending, and whose love is our life, whose worship is our faith. We can't forget to take the name of Allah at the beginning of our work because Allah puts more in our work. I start my today's presentation with some words which makes me more energetic. Someone truly said, I run, not because I run fast, not because I run far, I run because I can run. This presentation is by group 10. I am the student of semester 1, Department of Mathematics, University of Punjab, Lahore. The members of group 10 are Komal Talib, BSM 2019, Aliza Sultan, BSM 2024, Shiza Aruj, BSM 2025, Aruba Arfan, BSM 2013, and Habiba Maryam, BSM 2037. And the group leader of group 10 is Komal Talib, BSM 2019. This presentation is submitted to Dr. Zishan Yusuf and submitted by Komal Talib, BSM 2019. And the submission date of this presentation is 18th March 2021. This is Dr. Zishan Yusuf, subject holder. Dr. Zishan Yusuf is a Pakistani mathematician. He is among the top young researchers of Pakistan in the field of mathematics and basic sciences. He is extra talented supervisor. I am going to be speaking to you today about network and types of network. Sir Clifford Stoll said about a computer network, no computer network with pretty graphics can ever replace the salespeople that make our society work. I will try to explain every point related to the topic. Topics to be presented are Network Types of network which are Local area network Wide area network Third one is Metropolitan area network And the fourth one is Personal area network so let's move on the topic. Before this, I want to tell you about the network name. A network name is a text string that devices used to reference a particular computer network. These strings are separate from the names of individual devices and the addresses they use to identify each other. Network names take several different forms. Here this is the definition of network. Network is a collection of computers, servers, mainframes, network devices, peripherals or other devices connected to another to allow the sharing of data. Question arises here, what is server, mainframe and peripheral? Firstly we discuss about server. A server is a computer that provides data to other computers. It may serve data to systems on local area network or a wide area network over the internet. Many types of servers exist including web servers, main servers and file servers. Each type runs software specific to the purpose of the server. The second one is mainframe. A mainframe computer informally a mainframe or a big iron is a computer used primarily by large organizations for critical applications, bulk data processing. And the third and last one is peripheral. A peripheral device is also known as a peripheral computer, input output device, or any of the other devices, including sensors, used to enter information and instructions into a computer for storage or processing and to deliver processed data to a human operator.
example of computer network. Internet is the best and foremost example of network, which connects millions of people all over the world. To write is an example image of a home network with multiple computers and other networks all connected. Uses of network. First one is help you to share resource such as printer. The second one is allows you to share expensive softwares and database among the computer network participants. The third one is provides fast and effective communication from one computer to another computer. And the fourth one is helps you to exchange data and information among users via network. Advantages and disadvantages of network. Firstly, we discuss about the advantages of network, which are resource sharing, entertainment, data communication, and hardware sharing. Disadvantages of network are cost of network. The cost of implementing the network, including cabling and hardware, can be precise. Security of concerns. One of the chief downsides of computer networks involves security issues. Virus, lack of independence, and robustness lack. Now, I want to discuss to you about need for network computer. Computer networks help users on the network to share resources and in communication. Three points are here, file sharing, hardware sharing, and user communication. What is file sharing? File sharing, networking of computer helps the network users to share data files. What is hardware sharing? Users can share devices such as printers, scanners, CD-ROM, hard drives, etc. User communication. Networks allow users to communicate using email, news groups, and video conferencing. Here, network size versus network diameter. Network size. Network size is a number of nodes in a network, and the network diameter is the shortest distance between the two most distant nodes in a network. In other words, once the shortest path length from every node to all other nodes is calculated. The diameter is the longest of all the calculated path lengths. Okay, now you can easily understand it with its graph. Properties of network Connectivity, which is beta index, diameter of graph. Accessibility of nodes and places. Last one is centrality or location in a network, which is most important. What is centrality in a network context? Closeness centrality is a measure of the average shortest distance from each vertex to each other vertex. Specifically, it is an inverse of the average shortest distance between the vertex and all other vertices in a network. The formula is 1 over average distance to all other vertices. Classification of network. Networks may be classified according to the wide variety of characteristics such as medium used to transport data, communication protocol used, scale, topology, etc. Further, computer networks are typically classified by scale ranging from small personal networks to global wide area network and internet itself because internet in itself is the biggest example of network. The following readings provide detailed information on the common network classifications. Every network includes, which are at least two computers that have something to share, a cable and wireless pathway called transmission media for computers to signal each other, rules called protocols so that computer can use the unified principle of data communication.
Networking Interfere Cards NIC First Network What is First Network? The Advanced Research Projects Agency ARPA funded the design of the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network ARPANET for the United States Department of Defense. Further, computer networking as we know it today may be said to have gotten its start with ARPANET development in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Prior to that time, there were computer vendor networks designed primarily to connect terminals and and remote job, entry station to a mainframe, switched on in a late October 1969, the ARPANET is the first large-scale, general-purpose computer network to connect different kinds of computers together. So, this is the explanation of a network. Now, let's move on the types of network. Based on the size and coverage area, networks are categorized into following types. Local area network, personal area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. Picks have been given along with it so that you can understand it clearly. The first and foremost type of network is LAN, local area network. Definition is a local area network is a collection of devices connected together in one physical location such as building, office or home. Explanation is a local area network can be small or large ranging from a home network with one user to an enterprise network with thousands of users and devices in an office or school. Simply, a local area network is a group of computers and associated devices that share a common communication line or wireless line. A local area network is operated within a limited physical area such as at home, school, single building or several buildings. Simplest form of local area network is connected to computers and printers in someone's home office. In general, a given local area network will use only one type of transmission media. History of local area network Early, local area network had data rates in 4 to 6, 6 megabytes per second range. Mbps Today's speeds are 100 to 1000 Mbps. Example of local area network is If you connect printer to a machine on your network and use your computer's software to share the printer, Printer is not really a local area network device since it is not directly connected to a local area network. It will then be the part of the local area network. If you attach it with Wi-Fi adapter or connect an Ethernet cable to the same printer. The best one example is local area networks generally are private networks. Although public wireless hotspot offering internet access currently are popular. Most local area network stands are set by the 802 Working Group of Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers IEEE with the example being 802.3 Ethernet and 802.11 Wi-Fi. What is Electrical and Electronic Engineers Institute? Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers headquartered in New York City, the world's largest technical professional society with a worldwide membership of more than 375,000 electrical, electronics, computer engineers and computer scientists in approximately 160 countries. Elements of local area network 
communication with other computers in the office, sharing resources such as printers, scanners, and storage devices. The element of local area network is email, accessing the internet, video conferencing, and file sharing. Now, here, the diagram of local area network. It is the explanation of diagram of local area network. Typically, local area network includes many wires and cables that demand a previously designed network diagram. They are used by IT professionals to visually document the local area networks, physical structure and arrangement. The network logical structure diagram is designed to show the logical organization of a network. Local area network used for Local area network connects the computer hardware in a localized area such as an office or home. Typically, local area networks use wired connections to link the computers to each other and to a variety of peripheral devices such as printers. Here are the difference between advantages and disadvantages of local area network. The advantages of local area network are security, email, resource sharing, speed, and the last one is cost. Disadvantages of local area network are cables may break, file server may fall, requires administrative time, expensive to install. It is very expensive to install. Technologies which are required to implement to local area network. Local area network implementation uses several network devices like a router, switch, network cable, which is said to be UTP cable, and PC or laptop as user. Some of the features that used in this local area network are website blocking, dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP, hotspot, and bandwidth. The second type of network is wide area network. The definition of wide area network is a wide area network is a geographical distributed private telecommunications network that interconnects multiple local area network. The explanation is in an enterprise or business, a lane may be consist of connections of companies, headquarters, branch of offices, collection facilities, cloud services, and other facilities. Wide area network is essentially a network of networks. Simply, a wide area network is a co communication network that makes use of existing technology to connect local computer networks into a larger working networks that may cover both national and international networks. Wide area network is a group of metropolitan area networks or local area networks or the mixture of both networks. It covers the largest distance such as states, countries, or contributions to other countries. Here, this is the diagram of wide area network. I hope you can understand it very clearly. Wide area network is a network that exists over a large scale geographical area. A wide area network connects different smaller networks including local area networks lens example of wide area network a wide area network can cover country continent or even a whole world internet connection is an example of wide area network internet which can be regarded as public wide area network the primarily purpose of the wide area network is to connect users and applications connected to a various lanes this is, a, this is the diagram of internet which is connected to ISP A, ISP B and ISP C and further. Another example of wide area network, a network of bank cash dispensers, a company network with several branch offices, geographical So let's move on the disadvantages of wide area network. 
फर्स्ट वन इज कंपेरेटिवली एक्सपेंसिव इट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव नेटवर्क नीड गुड फायर वॉल प्रोटेक्शन टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट फ्रॉम आउटसाइडर्स सिक्योरिटी इज रियल इशू वेन मैनी डिफरेंट पीपल हैव द एबिलिटी टू यूज इंफॉर्मेशन इंफॉर्मेशन मे नॉट मीट लोकल नीड्स और इंटरेस्ट एडवांटेजेज ऑफ आइडेरिया नेटवर्क अलो बिजनेस टू शेयर डेटा अलो यूजेज टू सेंड मैसेजेस बिटवीन ऑफिसर्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड अलो एक्सेस टू फाइल्स फ्रॉम एनी कंप्यूटर एनी वेयर ऑन द नेटवर्क इंटरटेनमेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज टू इम्प्लीमेंट वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क फर्स्ट वन इज ए सिंक्रोनस ट्रांसफर मोड ए टी एम सेकेंड वन इज डिजिटल सब्सक्राइबर लाइन थर्ड वन इज केबल मॉडम फोर्थ वन इज डायल अप इंटरनेट फिफ्थ वन इज लीस्ट लाइन सिक्स वन इज आई एस डी एन सेवंथ इज फाइबर एट्थ इज ऑप्टिक कम्युनिकेशन एंड द लास्ट नाइन्थ इज फ्रेम रिले वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क टेक्नोलॉजी A wide area network is used to interconnect local area network that are separated by a large geographical distance. A wide area network predominantly operates at a OSI physical and data link layers. The wide area network provides a data path between routers and a lane that each router supports. First one is data link approaches to access to media and the second one is physical which is approaches to binary transmission components of wide area network there are two main components of wide area network which are mpls multi protocol label switching and the second one is vpns virtual private network wide area network used for A wide area network is a data network used for connecting computers that spans a wide geographical area. Wide area networks can be used to connect cities, states, or even countries. So the third type of network is metropolitan area network. A metropolitan area network is a network that interconnects users with computer resources. in a geographical or a region larger than that covered by a even large local area network but smaller than the area covered by wide area network examples of metropolitan area network are telephone company that provides high speed dsl line to customer digital cable television university campus public libraries airports government bu- building residential areas metropolitan area networks used for metropolitan area networks are used to build networks with high data connection speeds for cities and towns the working mechanism of metropolitan area network is similar to an internet service pro- provider isp but um metropolitan area network is not owned by a simple organization here this is a isp which is internet service provider connected to pc and internet advantages versus disadvantages of metropolitan area network you can understand it with its flow chart advantages of local area network which is similar to metropolitan area network metropolitan area network is less expensive sending local emails high security these advantages of metropolitan area network difficult to manage it is very difficult to manage and set up its schedule hackers attack technical people required to set up technologies to implement metropolitan area network three te- uh, technologies are given fddi fiber distribution data interface atm asynchronous transfer mode smds 
switched multi megabit data service so what is the explanation of fddi atm smds now we discuss about fddi atm and smds fddi fddi is used for transferring data in local area network its range is within 200 kilometers as fddi can handle thousands of users so this standard is also included in metropolitan area network the second one is atm asynchronous transfer mode was developed in 1980 to transfer digital data fast mostly atm is a widely used method in metropolitan area network in atm data is distributed online in the form of small fixed size packets this method is best from doing audio and video conference online atm use packets switching and circuit switching to transfer real time data the third and the last one is smds in smds data is transferred in packets over the large geographical area smds is a connectionless service meaning data info is stored in the header and then it is transferred through any network the main purpose of metropolitan area network is connected two lane together metropolitan area network also uses routers and switches to transfer data here the flow charts diagrams of smds fddi and atm are given i hope you can understand it very clearly purpose of metropolitan area network the main purpose of metropolitan area network is to interconnect two local area network together metropolitan area network also uses routers and switches to transfer data metropolitan area network has a range of over 500 kilometers speed of metropolitan area network speed of metropolitan area network is about 1000 mbps the last type of network is personal area network the definition of personal area network is a personal area network is a computer network for interconnected electronic devices centered on an individual person's workspace explanation of personal area network is a personal area network provides data transmission among devices such as computers smartphones tablets and personal digital assistants typically these systems are wireless here this is a flow chart of personal area network it is connected to many computers examples of personal area network are wireless keyboards smartphones tv remotes gaming console and wireless mice are the top one examples of personal area network personal area network used for a personal area network can be used for communication among the personal devices themselves or for connecting to a higher level network and the internet where one master device takes up the role as a gateway a personal area network may be wireless or carries over interfaces such as usb characteristics of personal area network short range communication low power consumption low cost small personal network communication of devices with a personal space are the characteristics of personal area network technologies which are required to build a personal area network a personal area network typically uses bluetooth or at times infrared connections if considered conceptually a personal area network may consist of network wearable or embedded devices that communicate upon nearby contact with other wireless devices advantages of personal area network no extra space requires connect to many devices at a time cost effective it is very easy to use it is very portable it is reliable and it is secure disadvantages of personal area network less distance range interfere with radio signals slow data transfer health problem 
costly in terms of communication devices, infrared signals travel to satellite line. Range of personal area network. A personal area network is interconnection of information technology devices within the range of individual person. Networks over cover often cover an area of 30 to 33 feet or 10 meters or within the range of an individual person, typically using form of wireless technologies. So, network architecture. Ne network architecture is a design of a computer network. It is a framework for the specification of the network's physical components and their functional organization and configuration, its operational principles and procedures, as well as communication protocols used. Network topology. What is network topology? Network topology is the arrangement of the elements of the communication network. Network topology can be used to define or describe the arrangement of various types of telecommunication networks, including command and control radio networks, industrial field buses, and computer networks. Picks have been given below. You can understand it as a most. Thank you so much for your attention, guys. God bless you. Thanks for watching.